Hey everyone. So now our topics are going to move into stewardship, right? And today's theme is on stewardship of time. And then the next week will be the stewardship of talents and then finally treasures. So let's figure out a definition to the word stewardship. Stewardship is essentially what we do with our time, talents, and treasures. And in today's case, how we spend that time makes up our lives. Here's a riddle for you. You've got exactly as much of this today as Bill Gates, Kim Kardashian, and Tom Brady. What's the answer? Time. Whether you're rich, popular, or a sports star, we all have the same thing, time. The time is yours whether you cherish it or not and how you properly use it, okay? Either you can use it to accomplish great things or maybe nothing at all. You've got just as much of this priceless commodity today as anyone else does in the entire world. And because you can't buy time, it makes all those popular celebrities equal to us in the sense of time. You can always make more money, but you can never make more time. You can always find another place to live if something happens to your house. Or you can always buy a new bike if it gets stolen. But you simply cannot replace time. Since that's the case, time is the most valuable commodity a person can possess. So it makes you wonder, how do you use your time? Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Guess what? That is 10 seconds of your time gone forever. You will never get that back. Was holding your breath a good way to use it? Some people live their whole lives, right? Holding their breath. And what I mean by that is this. They sit around accomplishing little to nothing with their time. They don't try anything new, right? They don't take risks and they don't like to be out of their comfort zones. They don't find it convenient to help other people in need. They seem to waste their priceless minutes and hours wishing that they were someone else or somewhere else. They may spend countless hours watching other people's lives on social media or trying to look at people's Instagram posts, leaving them with an empty feeling inside. Maybe the biggest tragedy in life isn't to die young, but to never have really lived before you die. I'm here to tell you, don't let that be you. God has granted you precious time on earth with all the people around you. He has given you life. He has given you time to do what with? Well, that's up to you. Let's look at this whole virus thing for example. We have now been at home and not in school for 46 days. Can you believe it? Now let me ask you, what have you been doing with that time? Have you been using it wisely? This thought just popped into my head the other day. When we are able to go out of our houses again, we will never get that precious time back that we had spending with our pets, families, and siblings. We will never have that time again, that 46 days, right, and more to do things at home. Instead, we will have to wake up and go to school come September. So what have you been doing with your time? Have you been maybe working hard at online classes? Have you played a game of cards with, with your entire family? Have you taken the time to play with a pet? Or have you been arguing with your parents? Um, have, have you been complaining that there's no food in this house? Spending hours on, so, on social media maybe is a big deal. This is time that we're never gonna get back. God has given us the precious gift of life. He wants us to use our time wisely. The theme verse for today comes from Mark chapter 12, starting at the 28th verse. And it says that one of the scribes is talking to Jesus and asks him, which commandment is first of all? And he says to them, the Lord is one. 
Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. That's how God wants you to spend your time, focused on him, focused on your faith, speaking with the brokenhearted people out there who could use some love or to hear the word of God. Maybe it's time you give a cousin or a relative a phone call or a text just to see how they're doing. Maybe you spend your time making masks to help other people out. Maybe you spend your time showing God's love to the people in your family. God wants your time. He wants you to be consumed with him and use your gift of time in a positive way. Go outside and enjoy his beautiful creation. Cook or bake something with all of his incredible resources that God has given to us. Use your time to glorify God. In our song today, it's called Speak Life and it's by Toby Mack. And he says, look into the eyes of the broken hearted and watch them come alive as you speak hope, you speak love, you speak life. Brighten someone's day, right? We hear all of the time at church, right? Use this time to call a person. Call a person from maybe the church or from school just to see how they're doing. You know, people keep on telling me, enjoy this precious time with your little baby because they grow up so quick. And I've heard this many times now, right? So I've been trying to take their advice and I've been doing that and I've been at home with him bonding even more and taking this precious time. I would probably be back at school teaching now, church, you know, and I would be busy and not having this time. That's why it's so important to focus your time on God now and figure out how you can continue the focus on him when we return to our normal routines. He wants your time and may we be good stewards of our time. Keep your faith, keep on talking to God and use your time wisely. Have a great day guys, I miss you and I hope to see you soon.